and welcome to the video. Today it's time to give you the review, which I'm sure you're waiting already so long, the review of the iTap bottle filler, which you've seen here, which I installed here in my little brewing office. Some weeks ago I give you the unboxing video of this and I thought I can follow quite fast to give you a review of this, of the using. Um, the thing is that on the beginning this was not that easy to use that one, maybe of a misunderstanding from my side how it shall work, uh, but also there was some little issues with one of the clamps which, which is holding the bottles, but this was uh, solved by Marina and the team of Boil Company, which uh, is this uh, device from. So now I'm able to use all in a good manner and I want to show you what you can do with this kind of device and what you can feel and what else you can do with this. So I hope you enjoy our video today and uh, if it's like this would be nice to have your thumbs up. So if you have installed your device uh, in that place where you want to use it, um, you have to check some things. First of all, on that side, you have the CO2 line, which is going to your bottles, and you have the splitter where you have it on one of the bottles, of the CO2 bottles, and the second one will go to your um, valve, which is goes to, to, to your barrel, okay? On the other side, um, you have a second one, I want to show you this just here this one this goes out this is the extra pressure what's going out there and uh, you have to put this then later in in a, in a kind of uh, glass or or in a pot whatever you want I put it here like this okay and you maybe see also here one second, the other side, this one where it goes my CO2, okay. I connected my iTap to my NC CAC and uh, all how to do this you will find in the, in the menu what they put in your box. Okay, if you do not uh, fill bottles with uh, these plastic bottles, uh, then for sure you have to remove at first this clamp lock. This clamp lock, which is regular in the delivery, it is only for the plastic bottles. So you have to remove it. You saw it's quite easy. You take it off here. And the same when you take it out. So then I bought at first an extra one, which is this one. This is for the glass bottles to put the crown corks, the crown caps, and you see also you do the same, you put it in here, and then you could almost almost start with it. But this was my my wrong thinking about it. You cannot just start now because depending of the kind of bottle, you must adjust sometimes. First of all, you have to see, I show it again here for you. You have to see here, there are these holders for, for the stoppers for the clamp lock. And depending on the, on the size of your bottle, like this one, or for example, like this one, you need to change it, okay? You just change it this way or the other way. So, and this is also one thing. The second is this rubber. Uh, gaskets what is in here the red one um, it depends always also on the size of the bottle okay first of all I want to show you with uh, this long neck bottle um, how it works so for this I just connected now the extra clamp what you have to order extra for the chrome tabs um, which is not in the in the original um, K 
kit included. So you just disconnect the old one, which was from from the from the plastic bottles, and you take this one and connect it same easily as the others is disconnected. Right. So then I just put here this kind of bottle, and you see already maybe that the gap between between this rubber gasket and the bottle, it's a little bit high. So there is uh, two possibilities to use it now. You can just try to adjust this clamp lock a little bit, like I do now. And when you push the CO2 valve, the button here, it should uh, remove all the, the air out and put the CO2 in. If this not work, if this leaks, uh, it sounds good with me here. If this would leak like it was in my uh, case in before, there are different rubber gaskets. Like you see, this is the original one and there is one which is a little bit uh, higher. If you just change this one, it should work with that. Or also, the second chance, you just take this uh, clamp lock stoppers as I told you before and you just take them out and you turn them uh, 180 degrees around and then uh, you put it in it should be a little bit better this is uh, also in your menu written so check it out for this one or if it's not working look for the support of Boyle company but as I showed you here this sounds good for me and now uh, always this um, valve is closed at this time and then I shall open here the tap and with this valve you start to fill. Just now there is no beer in in my keg. I just have some cleaning water with OxyClean. I just want to show you how it works. When it comes to an end I just close this lock here okay and then I close again the valve and in this uh, situation you open again here this uh, release uh, valve and in this time all the CO2 and or foam what is left over would go through this drainage nozzle in the back where I have the glass now and then you can take out your bottled beer in this case you cap it put your cap on and then you would have the first one okay so now I want to show you also some several bottles what I, I try to use here and uh, I really like this kind of bottles, the Steinek bottles and also here the top is a little bit different than to the other one which I used here and let's try if this works now with this uh, adjustment or if I need to go for some others. Always remember, don't push it too tight because <laughs> this was my first mistake, maybe, and that's why it was not, not really working. So always this has to be closed and then let's see. Oh, sounds perfect. It makes just a little s and then you know it's filled the bottle with your CO2. I open the tap and with this valve again, you start to fill, you see it, it goes quite fast and uh, then you stop it, close the tab and release all the gas. In this situation normally, you see normally some of the CO2 comes up and you have some foam on the top, this is not bad and then you put on the top your crown cap, you close it and that's it, it's very simple. Okay, next bottle what I want to try are these one, the Vichy bottles. I really like them in a, in a nice shape what they are, but when I used it in the front in in the first time, I had not really the good hand to do so. So let's try them if this works out here. It goes for me it goes a little bit more tight in. I think it's a good idea to be very slowly with that and give them just a little bit pressure just a bit and then let's see oh also this today sounds good I don't know well then again we open the tap and with this little you see also it's coming now some bit more foam uh, just uh, imagine it would be beer just have this cleaning water in now so you see also how it happened here 
Now I close the tab and then I open again this valve and all this uh, leftover CO2 can go out in the back. And then be careful to take out this, this bottle, put your cap and close it and that's it. So now we are coming to a, a bottle which uh, I also like because it's a bit different but as you see here on the on the top it's uh, it's smaller than the other as the long neck bottles or all the others which we used until now so if I put it in here you see it is really really too much gap between the gasket and the bottle that means when I close uh, this clamp lock there is no chance you see it's it's really losing means uh, we have to adjust something here on this device for that kind we tried it the first time to remove just the clamp lock and then let's see if i can do it adjusting here by changing by moving this kind of uh, stoppers on the other side so i try to show you this from this part that you can maybe see better go with your tongue and very slowly please taking out these little stoppers it was now in this uh, uh, situation and i just turn it around like that okay and you push it in again and for don't forget to put it on the on the back the same way because we have two of them and they must be always in the same direction okay so we put it now like this okay and also we connect again our clamp lock and let's see if this is better now or we have to adjust something else okay so let's see if it works or not we take again this small bottle put them in here and as you may see it is still to loosen and uh, it is uh, um, not complete so we have to go again to change something here means i have to remove this uh, little rubber gaskets i take a, a small screwdriver go very softly in here take this out and I have the bigger one, I try this one. So before you do this all, please remember later on, if you really uh, go for filling your beer, to have everything clean, to have everything sanitized. I'm just doing it now in uh, purpose of showing you how it works. So, okay, so we try it again. Let's take our fantastic clamp lock. Okay, and now hopefully we are able to fill also this kind of bottle. So, if we go now like this, it's more tight. But it's not yet so good. Okay, you hear it? Let's try it. Give them a try. Open. And the water comes. In that case, normally it would be your fantastic beer. Looks not that bad, no? And stop it. Close it release the co2 the, the pressure okay take it out and uh, put your crown cap and that's it so this were now three different kind of uh, four different kind of bottles with crown cap i have another one let's see if this would be working as well here ah look this is the also something like a like a long neck bottle and if i put it here now it's already under pressure. It would be working. Let's try. Let's give them a try. Looks 
not that bad, no? Okay. So, release and take out the bottle. Cap it, that's it. Now let's talk about swing top bottles. Um, as I have also some fantastic swing top bottles, in Germany there are some uh, usable from Flensburger or from other breweries and I really like the small one. But as well now I have also a couple of uh, large ones which I really like for my home brew. Boyle brought out also a solution for the swing top bottles. It looks very similar but as you may see there is uh, something uh, in a different way. Uh, took it out here and I try to use this that way. Uh, I try to use it with the large rubber but as well with the small rubber but both of them and also in different varieties of the stopper was not really good working with my bottles. Um, maybe because there are some tiny millimeters uh, taller than this one what they describe as which is the perfect size Form of swing top bottles for using. So, so in that way I had a long time to think about how to use it because also uh, this kind of this set for the swing top bottles is uh, much more expensive than for example that one which you pay for the crown cap bottles. And I was thinking how I can do some adjustments now to use it here and not send it back to Russia. And uh, yeah, I found a way. I will show you uh, some pictures now and then you see what I changed. The idea was just for me to adjust something here on this uh, stoppers for the clamp lock. This is the original one and to use uh, this for the for the other one I had to adjust something like here I'm sure you will not see it good just look on these pictures what I show you now and uh, yeah you have to move and you have to adjust some things first of all I go again to remove the long rubber or the big rubber gasket and I take the regular one back on the same set okay and then of course I have to remove all the other stoppers all right and I have my adjusted ones I put it in here now here it is okay perfect then I have this uh, special clamp lock for the swing top bottles and I put it in so and now I'm able to use this one as well so you see this fits in and I really have just a little bit adjust everything here and let's give them a try Oh, you hear that? It's just a little bit of the ZO2 to fill and Okay Yeah, and then give them a try for the filling And you see it's working great Depends also from your pressure, from your CO2 and the adjusting from this uh, little nozzle here, uh, how, how fast is your filling, okay? You see I close it down and I switch off the tap. Then please don't forget always to open this valve for the drainage nozzle if there is some over floating, what normally can be only when there is an over carbonation with that, okay? So then you open this tab and please be careful to take out this one. So you see, this is also very good filled. Okay, home brewers. So you see that this system is not that bad. 
and it works for me for all these bottles. And of course, there was uh, some issues in the beginning, but just now I'm really, really happy with that. Uh, and want to show you something else, what this system can, what you can do with it. I'm just moved back to the original, yeah. And the clamp lock stoppers I put in upside position. Please remember always to close this valve before you start with. And... Uh, Boyle brought out also something like this uh, tab, which I think they call it uh, iTab Mark or something like that. Don't ask me why. Um, what you can do with that, you just adjust your bottle filler to your own tab. So you put this inside in the, in the regular system, what you normally use for the plastic bottles. So and then you put this together I have inside the regular rubber gaskets and I just give them a little bit pressure not too much okay and uh, yeah close this one and let's give them a try you don't need this anymore just use it as a tab okay so go here open this tab and then you adjust here the floatings of your beer on this case as you see <laughs> I cheat a little bit I don't have the beer inside this is just this water what I connected there with uh, some and then you can just close it okay and that's it and then you would have your beer okay so I think this is a really really nice idea but guys, I must tell you something, to be honest, this system, it's, it's uh, from stainless, uh, it's very good quality, and you can imagine this is not a cheap crap. Huh? It is very, very well working, but it has its own price. For the prices, uh, check on their website, you will see what you can get. I just want to show you the system and uh, want to explain how it works for me. And I hope you like that. Uh, just now, after all the things and a little bit adjustments from my side, uh, it works very well for me. And I hope if you go for this kind of system, you will have the same fun with that like I have.